Hello guys, this is Delta Squad 49. I'm doing another tutorial on Team Fortress 2. Um, today we'll be installing the Half-Life dedicated server on Windows for our Team Fortress 2 MVM mode. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. The first thing you need to do is go to the Team Fortress 2 wiki website and go to the Windows dedicated server page and download the Half-Life Dedicated Server Update Tool.exe and install that. Now make sure you install it to a different directory from where you downloaded it to. Um, I just made a folder called TF2 Server um, and installed it there. Um, so whenever you have that installed, you're going to have to download all the latest update files. Um, in order to do, to do that, you're going to have to create a bat file by opening up Notepad um, and entering uh, this text to run in the command line. Um, once you run this, it downloads about 2.6 gigabytes uh, of information, so it may take a while. And once that's done, uh, it will say your files that are up to date um, and then you press the key to exit. Um, once you have all the, the files you better see them here that are downloaded there because you won't start with this many files. Um, the second thing you need to do is to have to be able to start the server uh, is make another bat file in notepad again. Um, this time you can uh, you need to change the map to make sure it's a MVM map um, decoy man works or the other one and it has to be 32 players just like this max players 32 um, it's only six players can play but you have to have 32 for the bots so well, I'll put these uh, in the description so you can copy and paste them um, and the next thing you need to do is have the server configuration. This is similar to the uh, configuration on the first tutorial I did with the in-game server. What you need to do is go to orange box, TF folder, CFG folder, oh first of all, uh, in the TF folder you scroll down, you will need a map cycle dot text and a map list dot text. And what these would do is you need to have the three maps, MVM maps, MVM maps only. You can't mix and match between MVM and the the classic maps. Um, and what this would do is it'll, the server will cycle through these maps and uh, it will also display them to the user. Um, and then th another thing you can do is uh, the MOTD, MOTD.txt is a message of the day. You can edit this um, with HTML if you want or just plain text. And this is the message you see when you first join the server. Um, I put goofy stuff in here like Jeopardy. <laughs> um, and after you have that saved, that's the easy thing. You need to go to the CFG folder and make a server.cfg file just like in the first um, tutorial I did. I did a listen server but this one would be a server.cfg in notepad. And again this is for Windows only. It's similar to Linux. They have Linux servers as well. Okay, and whenever you go to your server.cfg, you need to have the uh, same things, uh, host name, the name of your server, archon password is the password to your server, do not give that away, um, SB contact is your email address that you can put there if you want. Uh, the main important things is uh, you need to have svlan0, that makes your server be open to matchmaking. Uh, SV region 
um, has different region codes. Zero is East Coast of the United States. One is West Coast. Uh, and then there's others uh, that you can look up for other continents. Um, you need to have the server mode as well, TF underscore MMM server mode 2. 2 means that's uh, matchmaking mode. Uh, strict 0 is that it'll, it'll allow it to be listed in the server browser. Um, you also need to have a server password if you want one you can put one there. If it's blank like this there's no password. Um, another important thing um, is the ma SV max rate. Uh, if you have a slow upload speed you can you can look up your upload speed on your internet connection at speedtest.net. If you have a slow internet speed like I do, um, I only have half a megabyte upload speed which is pretty slow, you're going to have to turn down the max rate um, to, I'd set mine to 15,000. Now other example configurations put 21,000 or 30,000. Um, I think the default is 30,000 by by valve, but uh, if you set it to 30,000, you need about a megabyte and a half upload speed, 1.2 to 1.5 megabits per second upload speed. And I, I don't have that. If you don't, if you leave it at 30,000, and your internet can't support it, you're going to have major server lag when the bots come all at the same time. You'll get about 700 ping uh, for everybody except for yourself. Um, it took me a while to figure out what the uh, a good number is to put there. Um, other than that, I got uh, mostly defaults, allow spectators, no, zero is none. Um, I turned off the time limit as well. Another thing you can do is uh, have a server identity token, an account. Um, you'll have to enter a command in order to do that. You can just Google that command to enter into the console to receive your account ID and token. Um, all it does is keep track of your server and give you a little bit of benefits with higher priority in the server list. Um, so far I, I have it working in the in-game server option, but with this command line uh, I haven't been able to log in successfully. Um, if you, whenever you start the server it will say uh, logging in successful, but it could be anonymous or it could be the account. Um, again, uh, it says mine is anonymous, which means it's not logging in with my correct identity. And after you have this done, you can start the start the server and all you do is you click tf.bat and it will start the server. I already have mine running. Um, as you can see mine's running. Uh, people are, are playing right now in the uh, in the server. And once it's once it's running you can people tend to join for matchmaking very quickly as well. Um, you can go to Team Fortress 2, I'll show you that it runs. Go to servers, um, go to LAN. So if you're running the server on your the same machine that you're going to play on, um, you're going to need a, a pretty good amount of resources to do this. Um, you're probably going to need a quad-core processor with a few gigabytes of RAM. Um, it just depends what your settings are and once you uh, see it in the land you can you can join it and it joins pretty pretty fast um, one thing is uh, with this screen capture software I'm not going to be able to show you my gameplay but uh, it does work there's already people on my server again here's my message of the day that I showed you earlier um, 
pick continue and you pick your class and again there's already people in my game its server has been running for quite a while and you can play um, and that's it for the tutorial um, if you have any questions put them in the comments below and again this is Delta Squad 49 good luck